My name is Alan Hirohara. I'm here to talk about pre-sutured allograft GraphLink with StimuBlast augmentation. With GraphLink, there's now a pre-sutured allograft option, making it easier to do ACL reconstructions. However, we want to augment ACL reconstructions using a DBM technique. Using StimuBlast, which is an allograft bone with inorganic mineral removed, and it leaves only the organic collagen matrix, we can increase osteoinductivity and use exposed growth factors within it. This, however, often uses a carrier, which can determine the characteristics. There are many clinical studies that show that it's efficacious, but each product with its different characteristics gives you a different outcome. Stimiblast uses reverse phase media as a carrier. This becomes more viscous at body temperature. It resists irrigation and therefore is useful arthroscopically. Most others use glycerol and are not good in an arthroscopic environment and become more runny. This is also permeable to blood and gets resorbed easily and is metabolized readily. In this video, we can see in an ankle fusion just how robust this stimiblast is. And in an arth arthroscopic environment with saline, it does not actually run away and sets up very nicely. But here's the problem with ACLs. We know that with ACLs, we start to have some patients have this bone tunnel widening as this x-ray shows. And this can be a big problem for revisions and for potential failures. In this x-rays, we see with graph link, when no stimuli is used, we see the tunnels very easily. However, with stimuli blast and six weeks out, it's almost impossible to see where the tunnels are. Next, we're going to show you videos how to incorporate stimuli blast to augment your ACL reconstructions.